What is up, everyone, and welcome back to Dual Mod Survival. I'm here with B. Hello. And we're on episode 80, and last episode, I got myself a quantum suit. Much adorbs. However, though, I feel like this quantum suit might not last too long. You know what I'm saying. But before we work on that, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about our power. So as you see, using a lot of power. <laughs> we have a lot of things in the basement. We got uh, using tons of power we set up this awesome automatic wither star using and automating the killing of the wither to get the wither stars or the nut stars and uh, it works good it works pretty good but there's a few times where it likes to mess up and we've noticed some kind of bug with the wither he's uh destroying the blocks underneath the room he's in even though it's all warded so that shouldn't happen but it is happening a little bit so yeah it's just the kind of thing we've been dealing with so we do want to try and come up with a new solution to not ever have to worry about power again. And you may have noticed in the past few episodes, if you been paying attention, okay then, a few little things that we've been doing. Uh, so like if you look in our auto processing room, I have a little setup here that is producing us lots and lots of resin ender buckets. It's like if you look inside our system. You'll see we have almost 50 buckets worth, and they just continue to refill every time a bucket, em bucket empties. It will just fill up with a resin ender, and that's because we've been working on something. We've been hinting at, hinting at it quite a, few, quite a bit, and it's finally time to introduce it. So, if we head back to our power room, the good old power room with the awesome door, and you look. Oh, God. <laughs> this... This is what we're going to call the ultimate power. This here is the most ridiculous size reactor that we've been build, building. This, all these are filled with enderium blocks. So this has been so much enderium. I believe it was, what, uh, I can't remember the number. I think it was like 13,000 or 13,000 or 1,300 ender pearls. 13,000, I think it was. 13,000 ender pearls just to make the enderium blocks. Yeah, it, it took a long time, so that's why it's spanned across like 20 episodes we've been working on this. You know, just, just in the downtime between segments in between uh, between the episodes. So this is what we've been working on. Obviously, it's not finished. I've been doing row by row of Enderium, but went, or, uh, the Resin Ender. I wanted you guys to see, you know, the progress that's been on it. So we're going to take some time, finish filling up this reactor with the Resin Ender, and we'll come back whenever it's all put together, and... Let's kick this thing on, so we'll be back here in just a moment. All right, so I got the reactor filled up with resin ender. <laughs> it took a little longer than it probably should have, but it's time to do a couple things here. So I do just have a test rack off of the power port, as you can see right there. So that's just going to take all the power since test racks can transmit infinite energy. I'm going to put the wireless receiver here, you know, same thing, controlling the, the reactor with our button. And this one... It's reactor resident. Boom. There we go. Okay, so that should handle that. We will do, you know, what we need to. Let's fill these blocks back in. Okay. All right, that will do. Okay, so now we can very quickly fill in the rest of this because builders want. Wonderful. Let me just nice. This, this right here is extremely helpful. <laughs> I don't know if I have enough casings though, but I can just request more, so it's not terrible. Yeah, I don't think I have enough. <laughs> it's okay. Go. In that builder's wand. There we go. One thing is the uh, control rods are throwing me off just a little bit. It would be a little bit faster without them, but you know. You do need to have them. As you can see, I did spread them apart kind of specifically. How many are there in total? I can't remember. Was it three? Six, nine, twelve, plus two, four, six. So is that 
18? Is that what it was? Something like that. It's a lot. A lot. <laughs> I'm very excited to see how much power this is going to make because I do not know. It's not going to be the most efficient, but it won't be bad. It makes us a lot of power. But it looks awesome. And it looks awesome. Who needs efficiency? <laughs> I'm definitely about, about to run out of casings here. Yeah, we got five. Yeah, let's go request a few more. Get like three more stacks worth. So I hear your robots just murdering all the things. Mm -hmm. They're doing good deeds. Up more graphite. Yep. Okay. Use these ones. See if we need to go back and get more. Okay, got about a minute left on flight. <laughs> Hopefully that will be enough. Go. Get in there. You fall in that resident ender, you're gonna yeah. get TP'd. I'm a little bit worried about it. Probably pretty far away, it's too. That's not that far. It's enough to annoy me, though. Oh. Oh, there it is. The multi block is formed. Oh, the moment of truth, B. The moment of truth. Hero. Get, are you up in the uh, control room? Mm hmm. Are you ready to flip on that resonant? You want me to do it now? That's my flight just ran out. Go ahead and flip on the resonant. It's on. It's on. Oh, oh, one sec. Turn off. Turn off. I forgot to do one thing. My bad. My bad. I forgot to hook up the import and export buses. Do that real quick. Import, and we need export, and some yellorium. As there's yellorium right here, pretty cool. Need some ME cable as well. Perfect. Okay, so we can do that. And I just placed them here because it'd be a little bit easier to access. I'm going to Import here. Yeah. Export to ya. Yeah. Elorium. Move stacks. Oh god, this is gonna take this is gonna take so much elorium. And boom, there we go. That should start filling it up. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh jeez. Yep, yeah, that's uh that's a lot of elorium we just put in there. Alright, so uh Throw some stuff away. RB, are you ready for real this time? Maybe. Hit the switch. It's on. We're on. Oh, we're building up. Oh god, 50,000, 70,000, 80,000, 90,000, 100,000. Oh, it's going. Oh, it's heating up. Still heating up. 150,000. Oh the buffer is just, just completely filling up. God. Uh, 173, 174. Oh, it's still going. <laughs> 178, 179. Can we hit 180? 180? Oh my gosh, B, this is so much power. Oh, okay, I think, I think we're plateauing. Oh no, we're still going. Still going. 181, 181.2. All right, so we're making around 181,000 RF per tick. Yep. <laughs> we're making a lot of power. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you can probably flick it off. I don't. I don't think that needs to be running at all times. <laughs> nah, we'll leave that run. 
that should take care of more power for probably the rest of forever. I don't think we're ever going to exceed that amount. Do you even wear your cautious uniform while in there? I, wear, I have a quantum suit. It works exactly the same. Hope your hair falls out from the radiation you just took. Oh, actually, oh, I'm the wrong way. I'm pretty sure that the quantum suit is uh, it would automatically cure radiation, so it'd be fine. All right. So that that there is a ridiculous reactor, giving us the ultimate power. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna check in on a few things, see how our power is doing around, and uh, we'll be back. All right, so now that our power situation's under control, I think it's time to start with a new mod. So as you can see, I taught our system to make a lot of things. Well, about to, I just gotta place them in. And these are gonna be useful because the next mod I wanna play with requires a lot of crafting. And the next mod I wanna play with is modular power suits. So as I said, quantum suit probably won't, that, won't last that long, and that's because power suits. So all we gotta do is make ourselves the tinker table here the power armor tinker table and has a pretty cool interface you open it up you'll see that you have no modular power suit items found in your inventory make some okay so if i come into our assembler here and i toss in all of these patterns hopefully i didn't miss too many throw all these in you'll see it's got lots of components and the power armor pieces and including the power fist so we'll play both power fist a little bit i haven't played with it too much but I'll try it out if we search power, we should be able to request the crafting of a helmet. Yeah, good. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, all this is all these are just iron and a couple of uh, circuit boards, so it's not too much. It is an add-on to industrial craft, so it, you'll see it will require a lot of industrial craft components. So I'll show you in just just a moment. So. Right here, so you see it's just some iron, some electronic circuits, which we know how to make those from doing our, all our industrial craft. I can see it's the same thing for all of these. So, get our four pieces of armor. And now this, it doesn't do too much by itself, but what you can do is over at the tinker table, now you can see that it opens up, and we have an interface that we can work with. So you see each part has that you can click on has all these, you know, additions that you can put on them. So you're going to want energy because it's a power suit, it runs off of power, obviously. And then you can do you know, tons of different you know, bonuses, you know, attributes to the armor. So like you can do uphill step assist, so you go up the a one block just by running. And there's a lot of, few, a lot of things here. Um, so if we just throw this armor on, you will see, oh, random zombie attacking me. You will see in the top left, we have Actually, we have some power because of all of our power items. Okay, now you can mount my inventory. Yeah, so we can run this. The, the cool thing about this armor, and the reason why we wanted to make our Tinker stuff run off of power, is because, well, first of all, it's a power suit, so it runs off of power. The cool thing about it, though, is it works with both RF and EU. So what that means is if I use my drill here, what it will do is it'll pull from the chest plate or wherever the power is stored and it will use that power instead of here so that's gonna be very helpful because you can also charge up this armor with rf so you can essentially use rf to power your suit to power your eu power device so it's pretty cool um like i said it doesn't do much without anything on it so it says no installed modules this, a, this item is useless until you add some modules at a tinker table but it does look pretty cool does look pretty cool with my walrus so let's start adding some things so first thing we're going to want is some power i think power will look pretty good on the chest plate because that makes the most sense to me so we're going to want the there's a couple batteries here so basic advanced and elite uh you know generator will produce power within the suit so i'm going to go with an elite battery so all you have to do is you click on the elite battery and you see down here it requires one hb capacitor so luckily enough i taught our system how to make that so if I just search for an HP, HV capacitor, click begin. Oh, look, it's already done. Perfect. So this now, after I install it, let's see we're at 16.2 million RF. So what, what's giving me so much RF? Oh, it's probably the quantum suit. If we toss this in here, 
in here for now. Yeah, there we go, 200,000. So that's just from these. The build up from all those. So let's toss on our battery, click install. And you'll see that when you install, you'll have a few bars here that you can play with. So part of the suit is there is the weight that, uh, that your suit's affected by. So the more weight you have, the slower you'll move. You know, the less high you can jump and all that. So the bigger battery you do, you'll see you'll get more energy, but you're also increasing more weight. So I think around three MJ. That'll work. I think that'll be pretty good. A good amount of storage right there. I see two tier. Uh, I don't think it does much of anything important. But about halfway though. Okay, so we'll leave that there. So that gives me 500,000. That's not bad. I'm okay with that. Uh, we're going to do something to make it so it's well worth it. All right, so let's, let's see what else we're going to want. Let's look at the chest plate. Hey, look, a jetpack. Oh, a jetpack would be cool. Let's get a jetpack. So we need four ion thrusters. So these things are a pain in the butt to craft, unless you can do this. <laughs> so highly recommend just auto-crafting all the things. So if I begin, go. So you see ion thrusters. Look at this. All these, all the recipes here. You can see it requires solenoids, requires advanced circuits, requires force field emitters, which requires this, requires solenoids, requires advanced circuits. It gets hairy really quickly. So I'm just going to let that auto craft for me. See? And let's go over and see what else we want to add. So those are going. That will give us a jetpack. So let's look at the boots. So, hey, so uh, we're going to be in the air, and if we fall, we don't want to take damage. So how about some shock absorbers? Yeah, so two servos and two pieces of wool. Let's do that. No, oh, that should decrease the damage we take when we fall. So let's request a couple servos. I think those ones will be a little bit faster. Let's also get a couple pieces of wool. Let's hmm. wait on the uh, the rolling machine. Nice servos. So now we can add these on, shock absorbers, install, and you can see that uh, it will reduce reduce your damage or depending on the distance that you fall. So I'm going to do this all the way up because I don't ever want to take fall damage. Obviously it will use more energy, but I don't want to take any damage, so I think it's well worth it. Alright, there's jet boots, they're not as strong as a jet pack, but should be strong enough to counteract gravity so they can they let you hover, they're pretty cool. And we might, we might get those, we'll see. Uh, you can do more batteries, so if you want more storage, you can. You know what we want? This is armor, so we should probably get some get some armor, right? So there is iron plating, you know. It's heavy, but it's effective. Then there's advanced plating. It's lighter and harder and more protective, but it's harder to make. So this requires, you know, mostly iron and then mostly diamonds. But there's also the energy shield. So it's very light, but it will consume energy to prevent damage. So that's going to require two force field emitters, and we have four pieces of armor, so... It's gonna be eight force field emitters. So let's let's get those a crafting. Eight of them go. And how are our ion thrusters? They look four of them. So now we should be able to get ourselves a jetpack. Jetpack install nice. We want the thrust? Eh, we'll go about halfway. You can always come back and adjust these after you put them in, so it's not a huge a huge deal. And I do have. Some of these already bound to my mouse just because it's very convenient. Maybe if it's working. It should be jetpack on. Nope. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so it's letting me fly. So it works like a industrial craft jetpack where you hold it and it goes up. It doesn't let you like stabilize yourself. However, we will get something here in a second that will let us do that. So how are our force field emitters going? Nice, eight of them. All right, so you see we have no armor bar. Like this, it's when it's said useless, it means useless. This armor does nothing without this. So field strength all the way up. We want as much protection as possible. Uh, go for another energy shield. Boom. All the protection. It's also heat sink. We'll get some heat sinks. Don't worry. Chemical assistance. Pretty good get all of our armor installed and the last one also by the way 
if you add something and you decide you don't want it later, like say you want to take fall damage, you can just click these and click salvage. Uh, it has a chance to give me them back. I don't think it's a guarantee. So keep that in mind, since some of these do require a good bit of resources, you may want to consider what you want to do. So now you see we have a full armor bar. So that's pretty good. A lot of protection there. Oh, so let's see what else we need. Uh, I definitely want that uphill step assist. And also some swim boost and some jump assist and some sprint assist. Let's get all the things. So four servos, eight servos, 10 servos, plus an ion and a solenoid. Okay, this is why auto crafting is the bomb. Uh, thruster, begin. I think I said two solenoids. If not, we'll get more. It's no big deal. And then it was 10 servos. Begin. All right, so we're going to want all those. Those all help with movement. Movement is good. So let's see what else we can get. There's a few gadgets here. Like a mob repulsor, that's, that sounds nifty. And a magnet, I really like the magnet. Um, oh, by the way, that this menu I pulled up, it's bound to K originally, and you can set your own keybind straight from here. So you see the numpad, that's what my mouse buttons are bound to. So it lets me do all this, pretty nifty. It's very easy to use, very modular, very power suit. Oh, auto feeder, that sounds like fun. Much while, Batman. Much while, much while. Okay, so let's see, servos, almost done. Thruster, not done yet. Th these things take a while. Hey, look, just done. Solenoid. That's probably using them for the crafting. Begin. There we go. And then the uh, servos. So let's get all these bonuses. Sprint assist, install that one. So lots, lots of things you can do. So walk your assist. We have a fast removal just walking. Let's turn that up pretty good. Halfway. Halfway is usually pretty good. So sprint modification. Also, let's go about halfway. Compensation. Eh, also halfway. That's not bad. Jump height. Install. Well, like I said, you can always come back and adjust them, so it's, we're just going to go halfway for almost all of these. And then if we want to adjust it, say we feel like we're jumping too high and it's kind of annoying, you can come back and just lower it a little bit. Swim boost. <laughs> Why not? Uphill step assist. There's nothing you can do about that. It, it just does what it does. Um, one of the important things I really want to get is the solar generator. So the sun will power your power suit, you know, which then can power your tools. So as long as you're out in the sun, you can get uh, energy. So that requires three solar panels, two control circuits, and a computer chip. I don't think I taught the solar panels. Oops. Yeah, so let's teach that real fast. There was a couple recipes depending on how much you have installed. So I see dude once and thermal expansions does a couple. Not for all of them, I've noticed, but some of them, so I think I can get away with doing this. I think we have everything installed there. And how many was it? Three solar panels. Okay. Three of those. Okay. Oh, well, looks like I might do it. Alright, so then we want... I don't remember how many it said. I think it was one of these, but we get two of them. I think I'll need it later. And then the con control circuit. Need two of these. Go. All right. So let's, let's see what else we're gonna make. Let's let's just talk through, and I'll get all the th all the items off camera, and I can show you when I get back. So auto feeder sounds like cool. Sounds pretty cool. Um, we might do that. We'll see. I have also have a different solution for food. I, mean, I am auto feeding from the quantum suit. Oh, I was, but I don't have it on it now. But so. That'd be cool. Night vision that you can toggle on off. I like the sound of that. Flight control. So this is what I was talking about. You know how this jetpack just takes you up and down. If you want to be able to, uh, you know, stop in midair and just float like you're in creative mode, you want the flight control, which I will definitely be getting. There's a clock and a compass that will appear on your HUD. that are pretty cool. Uh, logistics pipe HUD. Uh, we're not doing too much with logistics pipe, so we don't really need it. Arometer, which 
I really like the idea of this. It lets you install goggles of revealing onto your power suit, so I will definitely be doing this because I like to be able to see ore nodes at all times. Uh, heat sink, probably grab a heat sink because uh, another mechanic with the suit, as you see in the top left, we have zero out of 500 degrees Celsius. So you can overheat the suit and it will start to damage you like significantly. So be aware of that and it will could, it could potentially kill you. So the heat sink will give you more buffer. Uh, there is ways to cool yourself down like a water tank. So that requires just some water, some buckets, you know. So we'll get some of that to keep ourselves cooled. Uh, probably get the uh, liquid nitrogen cooling system. That sounds, like, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, get some mechanical assistance, reduces the weight, so you know, speeds you up a little bit. Thermal generator creates a lot of heat, but it does create power from movement. I probably won't get that one. Not, not a huge fan. Active camouflage, you know, make yourself invisible with the press of a button. I like the sound of that. It also hides the armor, so that's good. The mob repulsor, you know, pushes mobs away from you. Definitely get that one. Maybe we'll get the jet boots. I don't know. It's not hugely important, but you know, it's another thing we can get. Not like we're struggling for resources too much. Yeah, so I think that's pretty much all the things we're gonna get. So I'm gonna get all this stuff together here and start installing these components, and we'll be back to show them off. So see you guys here in a moment. All right. Well, I started crafting up a bunch of the pieces, got a few more installed, a lot more to go actually. But anyways, I think this is the wrapping up point of this episode because we have been going for quite some time. Um. But we do have a pretty awesome reactor and a pretty awesome power suit making all the power. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Next episode, we'll be back to show off some of the stuff that the power suit can do and start checking out some more things. So, until then, we will see you guys next time. See ya. See ya.